I'm Cooper and I'm with Major Pest Control. I'm here today in collaboration with our on-site associate certified entomologist to provide homeowners with some general knowledge about squirrels, suggest preventive strategies against them, and glean insight into some frequently asked questions regarding these scavenger rodents. Squirrel stats. Squirrels belong to the family Ciuridae. The red squirrel is the most common in North America. Squirrels are small mammals that grow from 10 to 70 centimeters in length, have red, brown, gray, or black fur, and have slender bodies with long, bushy tails. Tree squirrels inhabit dense forests and nest in treetops. Squirrels are well adapted to urban and suburban environments where they often encounter humans and pets. Squirrels will often nest in and around homes and other residential structures. Squirrels build different nests, drays, which are loosely woven balls of twigs, leaves, and grasses, as well as dens, squirrels' year-round primary residences created in cavities. Squirrels in human-dominated habitats will frequently build nests in the attics and chimneys of homes. Nesting squirrels can quickly damage the building as the result of gnawing on wood and electrical wires and depositing droppings all around. Squirrel infestations are typically discovered when residents hear scurrying in the attic during the day. Let's go over some signs of possible squirrel infestation. You may observe destruction inside the home or other buildings on your property, including torn up insulation and chewed electrical wires. There could be gnawing marks on wooden siding. You might see outside damage to fruit trees, flowers, bird feeders, or landscaping. Possibly you could hear strange noises or the scurrying inside of the home, primarily in the attic. Squirrel excrement and or nesting in the attic or garage may be visible. Also, water damage to walls or ceilings might be apparent. Stolen bird seed as well as stolen bird seed trails may be visible. And finally, there may be squirrel tracks on your property, which will look like four toes in the front with five in the back. So I will share with you our squirrel prevention tips. Cover all openings and vents in the roof with hardware cloth. Examine eaves, soffits, and utility pipe openings, since squirrels often make their way into the home through existing holes. If squirrels are already in your home, ensure they are out before covering entry holes. Squirrels can cause significant damage when trying to escape after becoming trapped in an attic. Wrap telephone wires or cables in PVC pipe to prevent squirrels from using them as bridges into your home. Cut tree limbs and branches that are close to your home. Rake up any potential food sources in your yard, such as fallen acorns, berries, or birdseed. Clean up any leftover food and drinks, including any remnants of pet food. Try using a squirrel-resistant bird feeder, which can be found available on the market. Lastly, switch to metal garbage cans with lids if possible. And now for some frequently asked questions. What do squirrels actually eat? Well, squirrels are attracted to nuts, seeds, grains, berries, mushrooms, vegetables, roots, bark, and tree flowers and buds. They are mainly herbivores, but they have been known to eat small insects like crickets or caterpillars, or even bird eggs when their preferred food sources become scarce. Squirrels are known to be 
hoarders as they will cache food like nuts and seeds for the winter. They do this by digging small holes in the ground and burying their future meals. Interestingly, they have been observed digging and burying empty holes as a means of deceiving other animals, or in other words, throwing off possible thieves. Why do I see squirrels gnawing on my trees? Either they are hungry, as they will eat bark from time to time, or they are filing their teeth. Since a squirrel's front teeth actually never stop growing, they need to gnaw on things to keep them short and sharp. The front of a squirrel's teeth may appear orange, which is really just hard enamel. Why do squirrels have such long tails? Their big bushy tail helps them to maintain their balance running up and down from tree to tree. Sometimes they use their fluffy tail as a parachute when landing from great heights. They can even use their tail as a sort of umbrella to provide shade from a hot sun or even form a shield when it's raining out. It can also help to insulate them when they're cold through the winter months. Lastly, the tail is also used as a means of communication with other squirrels, usually through a flicking motion. How fast are squirrels? They can run up to anywhere from 16 to 32 kilometers per hour, and they can jump as high as 20 feet if necessary. You can witness them stopping and starting erratically while running, and also zigzagging to confuse and escape from predators. How long do squirrels live? Squirrels have been known to live three to five years on average. Their predators include cats, owls, and hawks. Snakes and crows have been known to feed on baby squirrels. What do squirrels dislike? Some of a squirrel's least favorite things are black pepper, white pepper, cayenne, coffee grounds, and garlic. They're also averse to peppermint. Spraying plants or flowers with water and then sprinkling some pepper or peppermint oil is a natural deterrent for squirrels. Can squirrels transmit diseases? Squirrels actually carry parasites such as fleas, ticks, and mites, which may transmit diseases to humans and pets, including tularemia, typhus, plague, ringworm, Lyme disease, encephalitis, and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Are squirrels dangerous? Squirrels may become aggressive when provoked, making trapping them actually quite dangerous. As a natural defense mechanism, these creatures have the potential to bite or scratch humans if they feel they're being attacked. So, Getting too close, moving too quickly, or attempting to grab a squirrel during an encounter may cause them to react negatively, but usually their first instinct is to stand motionless if they feel threatened, and eventually they will just run up to the nearest tree to escape. Though they appear cute and fluffy, squirrels make terrible neighbors. They can cause damage to the structure of your home by chewing through wooden beams, and they've also been known to cause fires after chewing through electrical wiring. Considering the health risks they present is another reason to keep them off your premises. In closing, a consultation from a trusted pest control expert is imperative to prevent potentially life-threatening situations for you and your family.